Hi, this video is about defining randomness. What is randomness? Great mathematicians were puzzled by this question during the first half of the 20th century. Let's look at how they eventually came to use algorithmic information to discover a satisfactory definition of randomness. We all have an intuitive idea about what randomness means. If we flip a coin repeatedly, we get a random sequence of heads and tails, which translates into a random binary series. But can we provide a mathematical characterization of randomness? Is it related to the notion of probability? Intuitively, a random binary sequence should be fully balanced. 50% zeros and 50% ones. 25% of zero zeros, 25% of zero ones, 25% of one zero, 25% of one ones, and so on. Even 10 zeros in a row should occur regularly once every 1024 times. We could check all these frequencies, and if the series passes all the tests, it may be declared truly random. Unfortunately, this is not sufficient. There is a number that passes all these frequency tests, and yet that is definitely not random. This number is called the Champernon constant. It is a remarkable number. It is called a disjunctive sequence. A disjunctive sequence is said to contain the universe because, like the Library of Babel, imagined by taught Louis Borges, it includes all the information contained in all possible books that were written or that will ever be written. The Champenon constant contains your passport number as well as mine as a substring, and it contains all scientific papers that might ever be written. And yet, this number is perfectly defined. The Champenon constant is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. This real number contains all integers as substrings. It contains all finite objects that can be digitally coded. You understand why it is totally useless. If you search within the Champlain constant to find my passport number, you must already know exactly what you are looking for to find it. The Champanon constant is interesting because it is normal, which means that it passes all the frequency tests. There are 10% zeros and 10% threes, a 1% occurrence of 32 and a 1% occurrence of 67. And the number 267,662 occurs as often as 111,111, with a frequency of one millionth. And yet, no one would consider the series random. So, measuring frequencies to define randomness was a bad idea, after all. Andrei Kolmogorov succeeded in finding a consistent definition of randomness. A series is random, if you cannot compress it by any significant amount. In other words, a binary sequence x of length L of x is random if its commogor of complexity is not much smaller than L of x. The value of the constant c controls how strict we want the definition of randomness to be. Kolmogorov's definition of randomness can be extended to series with an infinite number of turns, but this requires using a slightly different notion of complexity called prefix complexity. If the series is infinite, we just check the condition for the n first digits for any value of n. If x is random according to this definition, then it passes all the frequency tests. But the converse is not true as illustrated by the Champenon constant. It is easy to see that even if pi looks random, it is by no means random, 
as it's called Mogolov complexity, is very small. In conclusion, randomness is not a probabilistic notion. It is defined using algorithmic notions of complexity and incompressibility.